Hello everybody, Axelmyth here with another exciting part of Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, HD for the Wii U, and today, um, I think what we're gonna do, I think, is that the Forbidden? Yeah, that's the Forsaken Fortress. Um, there we go, we're gonna go to Windfall Island there. We're gonna go back because there's some Yeah, we're or is think I forget where you're from. <laughs> Not dang it. Hello? My laptop is acting weird. Okay. Um I forget, is Link from Windfall Island, or is he from Outset Island? I think Outset Island is the... Nope, it's definitely uh, Windfall Island. Sorry, I don't. So, I'm gonna go to Windfall Island, which I think, which is pretty much the Kakariko Village of this game. And, yeah. There's nothing you can do to stop me, I guess. I'm already kind of... already kind of have the sail to go that way, so... Awesome, right? Um, basically, there's just a couple of... things that I missed. And I figured, since... The Wind Waker tends to be really short. When you're just doing the main quest. So, I figured... I'd take this time to maybe do some of the side stuff. Um, I don't think... I, I noticed there was a theme when I was, like, reading up on Zelda Dungeon. And that theme was, there's a lot of treasure charts that just give out rupees. And I'm not really... I don't really care for that, you know what I mean? Because... Like, getting the lot of rupees is nice and all, and it would be nice to have that option, but, I, you know, it's... I don't think it's really that necessary for 100% completion. Maybe having the treasure charts is, but... Just having the... But getting the rupees to get the rupees is... I don't... I don't see that as completion worthy but there is a couple things that I can do on uh, not outset windfall island I keep forgetting its name that um, might benefit me for the trip so to, to give you an understanding for how short Wind Waker can be. I'm actually pretty much halfway through the game right now. As far as I understand it. There we go. But yeah, as far as I understand it, it is I am pretty much halfway through the game. And Yeah, so I've got a, a couple side quests I think I can do at this point. Um I'm only going to pretty much record for like an hour today. So if this part ends up being 40 minutes, I'm sorry. If it ends up being an hour and boring, I'm sorry. I hope not. I hope I can still entertain while... Uh, playing video games, even though I find it very... I find it easier to do this type of thing with Zelda than I do any other game. So... You know those pictures that I've basically wasted time taking this time around? Yeah. Um, I don't think I can actually use any of them. 
I, I was reading up on the side quest, and... Yeah. Um... So I'm gonna find this guy's shop real quick. I think I already got the heart piece from them. I did miss a heart piece from what you call it, the forbidden, the forsaken fortress. I think I I saw that. Somewhere in this town, there's one who is spite. Okay. So, how do you delete pictographs? There we go. Um, I'm gonna erase some. I'm just gonna erase these because apparently this is not how you're supposed to do this. Despite. Like, I could have sworn this is how you do this. No, y you can't just take random pictures of people and it count towards a side quest. I might as well. We're pretty much past the part where that picture is handy. Um, I also kind of read who all these... This was talking... The game with that guy was talking about, so... It'll be easier to... I have a few of those, so I will do that once I am able. I feel like... Basically, there's somebody on this island who will use this box to uh, send a love letter out, and I'm supposed to catch him in the act, I guess. So I don't know what what I'm going to do except just sit here and wait, I guess. Let me go back to Zelda Dungeon real quick, because I already have it pulled up, so that's good. There we go. pretty much right where Zelda Dungeon tells me to be. I don't know why I just closed that out. I kind of would like that for reference. So, I doubt it's a random occurrence, but why is he not there yet? Ugh. I hate how many ads this site has, but I'll get that one later. There we go, I'm back. This guy's name is Garrickson, and 
It just says, go outside, head to the docks. You should see that post box. Stand on the other side of the bush near the archway and get out the picto box. So am I supposed to be kind of in the bush right here? supposed to be up there. Nah, I don't see why it would make me try to be up there. It does show a picture from over here, though, so... Oh, there he is. There he is. Yeah, I'm a spy. I'm a spy. Call me Smalls the Spy. Look at this, guys. I'm gonna go fake print fake news. Um. So, something that I've been doing on the side was I was playing Yakuza. Oh ho, this is a finely snapped pictograph indeed. Hmm, now, they say love is blind, but what could he be thinking mailing these all these letters? I should not ridicule him, though, for he reminds me of myself back in the innocence of my youth. Memories of those bittersweet summers come rushing back to me. But I agree. Very good. But I digress. Very good, young sir. I must congratulate you on passing your first test. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most effectively. Second command... You must search for this town's most timid and cowardly resident. I intend to flog his spirit so as to lend him some backbone. This individual flinches and jumps at even the slightest surprise. I need you to capture the instant of pure fear on this individual's face in pictograph. Okay. So, I don't specifically know how you're supposed to figure out some some of this stuff without reading about it like I guess the first one he did say on this island sending letters but as you saw I had to kind of reposition myself <laughs> to almost a specific spot for that you know what I mean Yeah, I, I, I had to read some of these from Zelda Dungeon. Nope. It's okay, there's more pots. At least he does that for a while. I thought it was going to be like... No! Crap. Have to leave and re-enter. Stupid third-party controller. There's only like three jobs I know I can do at this point. I kind of should have read further, but there's also a couple other things that they said I could do. Try and get his actual face, because he said he wanted his face. Guess I should just like chill out over here. Is 
see if that works. I hope so, because it's going to be a really giant pain in the butt, if not. I forgot where it was already. And both of these, all three of these ones are not that far from here at all, so... See if he'll take this one. All right. Final command. Open your heart and mind and listen to what I say. Somewhere in this town, a couple, a man and a woman whose heart secretly filled with thoughts of the other and yet reason unknown. The two have never spoken. Even when they happen by chance to pass each other on the road, they each steal a brief fur furative glance at of the other, but they suppress their longing in their hearts. I cannot let this tragedy go on any longer. For the sake of this town and the desires to help those poor two poor souls, I shall become Cupid, Archer of Love. Interesting, that's canon and Zelda. These two are timid burglars in the house of love, and you must capture a pictograph of them thinking of their furtive thoughts. And, young Master Smalls, if and when, hope beyond hope, you manage to complete this t third task, then you shall be my number one pupil. <laughs> Does that not excite you? Good luck to you, young sir. Dope, right? Okay, so, once again, I know who he's talking about. Crap. Oh, that's right, I have to do this. I'm just going to delete these because they're pretty much useless. I wonder if the other two would, the other two would work. I kind of forget where Zelda Dungeon said to hide, but basically it's it's her. And I'm supposed to wait till somebody walks by. I think. I have the right ones. Although, the picture was taken from over here. So I'm just gonna hide, I guess, right here. At least I think it was taken from right here. I mean, I don't really care what angle it's from as long as the picture is taken. But if I have to stand in a certain place for these things to activate... Then I'd like to find that place as soon as possible. coming? Is he coming? Okay. 
Okay. Oh, there he is. There we go. There we go. This feels a little creepy, personally, but what does Smalls know? He's a kid. I keep forgetting I have to do this. Let's see if this one will work. Yep. Even though I have lived in this town for so many years, I did not realize in the slightest extent of their passion. You have done well, Smalls. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Now then, my young sir, have you have completed all of the tasks I set you to. My doubts about you have all been cleared up. I shall hereby be proud to call you my assistant, Smalls. And no assistant of mine should, will be seen going around taking pictographs in monochrome. Not in a million years. So here, allow me to present you with this picto box. I've got the ultra picto box. Hmm. Until now, you could only take black and white pictographs, but now you can take color pictographs, allowing you, allow, allowing you to show the world as it was meant to be seen. Now, get out there and snap pictographs. Snap them in color for me. For all the years I spent unable to do so, fulfill my life's ambitions. Go to it, Smalls. What does he want, exactly? Finally arrive at the very pinnacle of pictography. Okay, so am I supposed to just take a bunch of pictures of everybody? Um, and then there's one more person that I know for sure I can take pictures of right now. And she will appreciate it. thirds, roll of thirds. That looks like a movie shot. Well, is this what I look like today? Why, well, I had no idea the gloss on my skin was so perfect. Just look at me. I'm so stunning. Oh, I feel so wonderful now. I have a reward for making me feel so good about myself. Here. Yeah, I knew that. That one was just a treasure chart. Um. So. Yeah, there's just a couple other treasure charts. Uns all the dungeon. So I'm gonna go to uh. The, uh, what is it? Battleships. The Battleships minigame now. I think this is it. I'll find it eventually, you know? Oh no, this is the... Yeah, this is that one. I've smashed all their pots before. I don't really feel like paying paying money to do so. Might be this one. It's one of the buildings around here. Nope, this is the drug shop. The drug store. Let's see, where is the battleship arena?
I don't think it was in here. I think this is just upstairs to the one house. Yeah, this is just upstairs to the house. I was correct. There was a slight side quest with the pig, by the way. I was reading, uh, of course, Zelda Dungeon. And... Okay, so if that's the school, then what is this? I was reading the Zelda Dungeon, right? And, um... There was a side quest with the pig to get me, like friggin' 60 rupees, and I was like, yeah, that's not worth going back for. Hey, it's fun. Welcome, the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dolveski. Look sharp for the... are the sole protectors of this island. Admiral alert, all hands on deck. Sonar shows... That schools of deadly giant squids are approaching. All ships prepare for battle. What? Where? Oh ho, I see the fiends approach. There are three squid squid groups. A large one, a medium one, and a small one. If they allow them to come any closer, the children on the island will, will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of... Our new radar system. Seek out. Okay. Destroy the mandarin squid po pods. You must score four direct hits on the large, three on the medium, and two on the small. Yeah, okay. Aye, aye, sir. Excellent so far. Best sailor has managed to destroy all of these squid squids using only 20 cannonballs. May you flight, fight as bravely. Man. to do this. Kidding me. things. Man, it's always the one. Alright. 
Alright, this is gonna suck. So... Ooh. Come on. Really? God. This game is so stupid. Battleship is a lot better when you're playing with two people. Nice. That one was easy. The second, the last one, pretty far from all right. All right. Freaking hate that. This is literally just a guessing game, and it's kind of stupid. Yeah, see? Like, what? how... How are you just supposed to guess this? This is just stupid. make this entertaining. This is just me playing Battleship by myself, so it's not like there's any interesting conversation that can happen. Okay. Okay, I can turn this back around. Really? I feel like that the game is just moving it. 
This is stupid. This is literally going to just take up the rest of the time, isn't it? And if it does, I'm, I don't give. I don't care. Okay, so I finally found the two. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna have a little. Oh. There we go. Got lucky there. <laughs> Yay, got three, three so far. Yeah, I knew that one because I actually I was able to do it on under nineteen. Um, I think that is it from this shop though for now. Actually I think it's just it in general. Yeah, and then he gives you another chart when you do this. Okay, so I have to beat it a second time to get another treasure chart, but is it really worth it? I don't think so. Okay, so... So, I also have another heart piece I know of around here. So, I'm going to go do that. I don't really like having to use Zelda Dungeon, but... Wind Waker is just kind of one of those games where you just have to, like... kind of sort of just have to explore every everything and everything and like I'm all for it on one hand but doesn't make it come on you stupid controller hate to blame things on the controller but I li was holding s the side button that entire time waiting for it to go and it didn't so um anyway what i was trying to say is that it makes a good uh video game but it doesn't make a very good let's play to have to try to explore everything and everything you know what i mean that's what i was trying to do with like twilight princess and you know it just didn't work out very well, so I think I already have this on my map, but this is oh, I don't I need to fix that this time come on, there we go, sail there he is I'm going to get some of those ready so that I can I think it's this one Okay, so I actually need more of those. So next time I run into him, Crazy Boatman, I will... I will go get more. Oh, there is Crazy Boatman. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get more, so... Cool stuff. Like I said, I'm not reading. 
I'm only going to read his hint. Do you know what? A choo choo is small fry. Not that I'm talking about the sound you make when you kiss someone. Choo choo. I'm talking about choo choos. That's funny. Uh, Japanese automatic P, I assume. Though the, those are those slimy monsters like puddles of goo that turn into blobs of jelly. Stand up and start jumping at you like crazy when you come near them. Well, in any case, there's a lot of them on that island over there. So if you see any, I'd avoid them. They can get nasty. They can get pretty, uh, nasty. Now that I think about it, every once in a while I see a potion brewer who, li who lives on Windfall Island come here. Now why would he do that, Fry? It's all the info I've got to offer. Yep. And ah, uh, dang! Not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh my word! You're worse than kick. You're worse than the owl. No way. What? I'm playing an arrow game now? Well, that's asinine. This will will last nine, but I'm trying to aim, but I definitely feel like I'm, I hate to break, I hate to say it, but I feel like I'd be a little better at aiming with motion controls. <laughs> I'm just kind of, I guess I'm kind of used to it with Zelda. I don't know. It's funny how that works. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move. There we go, just kind of slowly make my way over. I think I had been here once before. I don't think I really... I don't think I did anything here, but I, I remember seeing those guys over there. What does the sign say? What the sign say? Jagger style and east from here. Um, I'm currently recording recording this on Memorial Day, so you might hear pops in the backgrounds or explosions. It could be rain, it could be gunfire, it could be um, what you call it, fireworks. Just follow your nose for the fireworks that show, I guess. We're in the Midwest where we just do that whenever, apparently. I think technically it's still... I, I'm not sure, quite sure the laws about it. Definitely more off, definitely less often than I've, I've seen people do it out here, because like 4th of July is obviously the big one right here, here, here in America, right? Like, obviously. Um... Oh, my controller's almost dead. Holy... Holy nuts. I'm pretty sure I have until the end of this part to do it, though. Um... 
So I was promised a treasure chest down here. That's where the that's the light. Is it somewhere over here? Yeah, quit yelling at me, I know. There it is. Found it. I don't even know if I'm technically picking any more of those up. But they're they're nice to have. Ah uh, nuts. There we go. Come on, open. Open says the beans. I've got another heart container. Woo woo. So instead of six hearts, I have seven. Woo. Um so I wouldn't mind I only left as kind of a coup because I am gonna go back to the island seriously that's just the battery thing I hope is not too distracting I haven't had to charge this controller in weeks and though so it's pretty impressive battery life even for a third party Wii U controller But it does mean that it probably can't keep a charge very much, because out of the weeks that it's been, I've probably only played for like four, four of them. There we go. Actually worked that time. Could possibly explain why it was uh, not working just a second ago, though, because it was like... No, come on. A. A to set sail. So I've been trying to say it this entire time, but I finally beat Yakuza. I was doing that as kind of a side, like I'd record and edit on Monday, then on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and, pot, and Friday. I would play Yakuza, even though it doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes I only got to play for like two days a week or two nights a week or like, you know, one on very uh, busy weeks. But, you know, it was... It's a decent game. Um... I understand why people like it is what I is I understand come on get out there we go I don't want to just put it like that because that makes it sound like I didn't care for the game myself I I liked it but it's just not the normal style of game I play because it was very much just a beat-em-up and like a RPG beat em up type situation. And even though that's not the worst thing ever, um, because I had a lot of fun with it, it did drag on sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get get them out okay so I technic I shouldn't oh interesting so that might be part of the, of a side quest actually I was wondering I was wondering because I saw that there's only supposed to be 13 blue choo-choo jellies. Joy pendants! To tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else. That's... And that... Why, that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Oh, my, yes. I will happily take a single one for you. Oh, no, no, I insist only one. To tell you the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them, but I'll probably 
in my wildest dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one pass on me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties. I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. So, I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. Okay, so... I don't have enough. I think I'll come back when I have a bit more of a collection of them. But I think I'm going to go to that drug shop to see what he does with the choo-choo... Forgot where it was. This way. Then after that, I think I'll just call it a part, unfortunately. Just because... Whatever. Is anybody actually ever really sad about that? I'm gonna try to do the same thing with him, though. does, the green one does. Obviously, I gave him what it, he needs to make a new potion. I guess that's something. I, for one, have never seen this cutscene before. Hit. What? So I should be able to now buy two types of potions here. Okay, so that's just magic meter and health. Um, and then the blue ones... Here, I'm gonna try the blue ones too. I don't think I did this in, the ori in my original file back on the GameCube. I hope he only needs one, because he's only supposed to be 13 in the game. Yep. Yeah. Wow, you only need one. Oh, really? Okay, so I'm supposed to have 15 of those, so I will... I'll be more on the lookout for those, because, um, yeah. Dope. Very dope. So, um, what to do now? What to do? Um, I guess I don't really know what to do with the Picto thing. I definitely should have read ahead. I thought I had, I honestly thought with all of that I had an hour's worth of material. Phew. So, uh, oh, you know what? Before I go, I think I will buy, just so you guys see that I'm doing it, this. Because I kind of forgot to at the last island. Oh, that's nice. Somebody's selling... Somebody's selling these. Thank you. 
But he's still set selling these. Okay, so I don't have any room for more. That's fine. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this kind of filler, but not so filler part of The Legend of Zelda Win The Wind Waker. Um, if you would like to see more, just keep watching, keep liking, keep subscribing, and I will keep vibing uh, with this gaming. So, until next time... I hope you guys have a good week, weekend, whatever it is you're doing.